Welcome to Tokyo Tuesday everybody. If you're a regular viewer, welcome back. Today we are in Akihabara and I don't know if you noticed in the background that I'm with Sharla. <laughs> Today we're gonna show you my three favorite hidden Akihabara secrets. Some are cool, some are creepy, and some are just plain neat. Let's get this shit started. Besides all of the obvious awesome stuff that you can find right here in Akihabara, there are some hidden secrets. I might do 5, 10, 15, even 20 Akihabara videos. Today, I want to show you guys the stuff that's kind of a little bit closer to here though. Okay, interesting Akihabara fact. This may or may not be one of them because honestly I don't know what they look like because they're hidden. There are trucks or vans like this that drive around Akihabara searching for pervert cameras. No way! Seriously! What? There are trucks that drive around find the frequencies for like hidden cameras that people would put in their shoes and stuff like that. Whoa! Yeah. I didn't know. That Akihabara one looked pretty for... like secretive. Yeah. I feel like yeah. And, and if you notice like the guys inside were like armored up yeah. and they had cameras. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh... Sorry about the grainy video, I wanted to switch over to a super wide lens so I can show you guys this first one. Charlotte's over here. Here we go. I don't know if you guessed it or not, but here we are at the secret hidden shrine of Akihabara. I found this place for the first time probably I'd say back in 2005 or 2007. This place has been here forever and this is incredibly sticky. I think it's like it's some kind of lacquer. One of the things that makes that last place an adventure is just trying to find it. So one of the things I'm not going to do this time is I'm not going to leave a Google link of where it is below and I'm going to encourage you not to look it up on Google Maps. Actually I don't even think it's on Google Maps. It doesn't have a name. What would you even look for? Right? I'll give you a hint. It is in Sotokanda 2 4. Or is it 4 2? 4 2. Maybe 2 4. On to our next location. Next location is super simple, really easy to find. Yet most people don't think to do the simple thing of going up to the second floor. I love the second floor. <laughs> I'm intrigued. We are taking a short break so that Charlotte can nerd out over some gacha gacha <laughs> machines. We are right near Akihabara station right now. And there are these tiny little aisles that go onto the train tracks. You ever been in here, Charlotte? No. There's a ton of stuff to check out on these. There's a few of these aisles. But the real hidden gems or once you get upstairs, it is this little shop here. This is the little they have everything shop. This is one of my favorite spots in Akihabara. Old radios, super old cameras, they have checking machines, really old cameras. You can get like a legit mahjong set. A super, super old camera. Wow. And I saw my old cell phone too. Apparently there's an iPhone. I've probably over the years spent at least two, three hundred dollars here. Really? Because there's little stuff that you wouldn't expect to see. Like this right here. That's 6,000 yen. 8,000 yen for these here iPods. Oh, Classic true. set of binoculars. Oh, I have a pair that look like that. Shoe goods. More batteries. You get a compass for 800 yen. How's this for a terribly lit video? So this is the first floor. And on the first floor, you get stuff like this. These tiny little hidden cameras here. Hey Sharma, remember that van I showed you earlier? Yes. Let me show you why they have those vans. Come over here. On top of having all these down here, brass knuckles and all that, every single one of these including these glasses, which look totally inconspicuous and normal. Every one of these are cameras. No way. People could be watching the you glasses? at any time. That, oh my God. Yeah, that container of Frisk 
a camera. That's so creepy. And in case your t-shirt gets dirty and you ever wanted to buy one in a vending machine, there's a t-shirt vending machine. <laughs> We're gonna head out to location number three. I haven't been there for five plus years. I don't even know if it's still there. Big habit of looking for coffee coke. I still it's haven't gone. found one. It's gone. Good. They took it out of the vending machine. When you get over onto this side of the station, right over here, I can honestly say this is the first time I've seen this many people here. This is insane. This particular bridge and this spot is a pretty special spot for me. Um, I've got a, a deep connection to this spot right here. I don't know if I'm gonna share it in this video, I shared it with Sharla. She might share it. I don't know. I will definitely <laughs> share it in the future. It might keep it secret because we're all about the secrets today. After just a wee bit of confusion because I haven't been to this location <laughs> in five years, we're coming up on it now. Yeah. This is. The creepy Akihabara vending machine corner. Ooh. I stumbled on this probably the first time in, I will say, almost definitely 2005, oh, and it wow. caught my eye you because I love popcorn. <laughs> he does love popcorn. He's not joking. You ever wanted to buy a toy train in a vending machine? <laughs> yes. How about, how about a kabuto mushi? Oh, look at this. Mukashi no kippu. Yeah. Train you can buy the Showa era. old train tickets for like. You can get a muffin in a can right here. That is a muffin in a can. That is bread in a can. You can get Odin, and for some reason, you can get random balls. <laughs> I like the balls. Yo, if, that's okay, nice that's touch. not even the yo. That's not even the beginning. <laughs> so cool. All right. There's more. There's more. Oh, what? There's more behind here. Oh yeah, there's more behind here. So you get Wanda, still unfortunately what? no coffee coke, what okay? Is that? Check that out. What is it? Don't even know. It's just oh, bells. Random bells. It's just random bells. For 750 yen. At that price, like that's gotta be something. <laughs> Mini carrots. Like look at that. Minna no suzu. Bells for everyone. <laughs> yeah. You wanna get really creeped out? Come yes. here. Come here. Okay, I I don't even know how to begin explaining this, but things get really freaky uh, when you look at what's in here. What are they? Read them. They gotta do like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? But what's inside? It doesn't say what's inside. What? Each it of them has like, like a weird like. It's got a really weird messed up story, it's like a story and like a mystery item in like, the box. I don't even know how to explain the story. You don't want to explain it. <laughs> and you read one that wasn't that bad either. Some of these are messed up. Well, we have to get a box. Have you ever gotten a box? <laughs> I've never there? got, I have never gotten a box. I'm kind of afraid to well, get a we box. We have to get a box. What, there's more? There's more. What? Coming in here, oh my God. I barely fit in here. This is, this is tight. All right. If you've ever wanted to purchase snails in a can, this you vending machine. Snails? Yeah, there are snails in a can in that vending machine over there. Emergency set. <laughs> wow. If you're ever in Akihabara and an earthquake hits and you need a sudden emergency you know set, to get emergency come to this set. spot right here. And you know what? Everything shuts down during an earthquake. You're gonna be pretty bored. You might as well get yourself a thing of Super Bowls. This is really cool. It was right here actually, like in an emergency, a helpful uh, charger, battery charger. There we go. And then... And then a Kabuto <laughs> machine <laughs> right beside it. Shara is so into these boxes. <laughs> this might be my favorite Tokyo Tuesday yet. <laughs> Dollar. <laughs> Here it 
can't this believe you're actually doing like this. It's like Christmas. How heavy is it? It's quite light. Oh yeah, but there is something in there. there is, yeah, at least it's not an empty box. No, there's something in there for sure. Hey, are you ready to open that box? <laughs> it's made of all those stories. Oh my the, god. The wrapping is all those stories. You've never bought one of these before. Oh my god, oh my is god. it? Smells really good though. <laughs> Smells absolutely fantastic. I love popcorn. Do you remember what you got me yeah. for my birthday? Charla got me this jug. And I mean like jug. Four liters of popcorn kernels. There we go. Ugh. Wildly heartbreaking. So in mid-edit, I realized that I lost all of the audio for the end section of Tokyo Tuesday, which really sucked because there was some pretty awesome stuff in there. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Unfortunately, Charla's not here with me. I mean Ginza right now. As it's a weekend, the streets are wide open. Interesting Tokyo Tuesday fact. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe, and if you have any questions or any ideas for things that you would like to see in a Tokyo Tuesday video, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys again next Tuesday. Bye.